-hmm. Welcome back to Solutions for Financial Independence. Joining me now is John Holterman of Beacon Wealth Management. John, how's it going? I'm doing well, Sydney. How about yourself? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Today we have a question from Shannon of Clarksburg. She says, my son just got married and I do not trust his new wife. How can I make sure my IRA money is protected for my grandchildren? Oh, that's a good one. Because you know what? That, that's really a big common concern about a lot of people because today we have a lot of mixed marriages and we have new people in families that, you know, for whatever reason, maybe there's not a relationship there. And so you got to say, what can I do? Well, the first thing I want you to know is that an IRA has a direct beneficiary. So because it has a direct beneficiary, that means it doesn't have to go through probate. So if you have, let's say, let's say you have two children and you want 50% each on there, then it would go to those two children directly to them upon your death. Now, if you're trying to protect that money, you can't just give it to them outright. What you have to be able to do is you have to put it into a trust. A common trust that we work with attorneys on is what we call an IRA trust. And what that IRA trust does is it allows you to dictate your wishes, such as your grandchildren, to where this money is there for them, they have limitations on it, um, and then it's designed to preserve it for their future. So if you want it to go for your grandchildren, the best thing to be thinking about is the possibility of doing some type of trust as your beneficiary. Great. Well, thank you so much, John. Definitely a sticky situation that can get out of hand. So you just made, oh, that, absolutely. made that a little easier for us. We appreciate that. If you missed any of that, be sure to visit our website, wdtv.com, and stay with us. Much more after the break.